Oracle VM Virtual Box is best known for its usefulness, but it would not be wrong to say that this open source and cross-platform virtualization software is also notorious for its annoying errors. I have been using Oracle VirtualBox for years to make how-to video tutorials, but it stopped working and since I was busy, so I switched to VMware Workstation Player due to lack of time. I was using version 5.1.14 and did not update my copy to latest VirtualBox version. I had some free time, so I decided to look into this matter and after wasting 6 hours and failed attempts. I managed to fix the error and now my copy of Oracle VM Virtual Box is working fine. In today's video, I will be sharing which error I was facing and what did I do to fix them. Before proceeding any further, I can't guarantee it will work for you, but I do hope one of workarounds will solve your problem. I am a Windows 10 user and like to use Avira Antivirus free version. I was using Virtual Box version 5.1.14 and did not update my copy to latest virtual box version. When I tried to install Windows 7, I faced error relaunching virtual box VM process 5 command line. I uninstalled VirtualBox and reinstalled the same version of Oracle VirtualBox. Previous error got fixed and a new error was waiting for me. This time I caught error. The virtual machine has terminated unexpectedly during startup. Result code 0x8004005. I downloaded and installed Visual C++ redistributable packages for Visual Studio 2013, but it did not work. After this, I decided to give up on my antivirus, Avira Antivirus. I, as I heard of Avira that this antivirus program creates problems for VirtualBox. I uninstalled Avira Antivirus from my PC, but removing my antivirus did not help me to fix the issue. At the end, there was only option to give a try to newer version of Oracle VirtualBox. I downloaded and installed the latest version of VirtualBox 5.2.4. Fortunately, this time I managed to fix the error and I have reinstalled Avira antivirus and everything is working fine so far. No issue. I do hope this short video has been informative and useful and you have managed to solve your problem. Use the comment section and do let me know if you run into any issue. I will try to help you out solve your problem. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.